Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to another episode with Brighton as we look to do it better than Potter. Today we have got AGF in a conference league game to give you a European game, but maybe more importantly, I've picked out a couple of interesting league games that aren't against teams in and around us, but teams that we maybe have a little bit of a rivalry against after last year. That is of course West Ham at Everton. West Ham finishing in the top four, I did highlight that they scored 15 more goals and conceded 17 less goals than their expected data, and they are finished, they're sitting 13th where they should be, and Everton are currently sitting in the middle of the table on 11th. More importantly, though, both those teams were the reasons why we're in the Conference League and not in the Champions League or above as well. More importantly, we are live on Twitch, as you just saw there with Rangers, Cuvio, Cuvi, Cuves. I don't know, Rangers is follow there. Thank you very much there, Rangers. Been talking in the chat. He's a Brighton fan. If you are a Brighton fan or you're just liking the content, do give this a video a like, do subscribe, and let me know in the comments down below who do you support and maybe why or who you're doing your main save with as by the time this episode will be out, I would have been and gone to Sydney for poker and we would, of course, have the main game downloaded by then as well. In terms of what we're going to do, though, is just recap recent results. Um, I have been live on stream for most of these games, apart from a couple this morning. Um, you know, since we last sent the YouTube episode, we beat Forest 1-0, beat Standard 3-0 as well, um, drew to Leicester in a crazy game, beat Forest 3-1 in the Cabo Cup, beat Leeds 3-1, beat Hajat Split, drew to Arsenal. The 4-3-3 is really, really good. And then against Manchester City, even though we lost 3-0, have a look at the statistical data away from home against Manchester City, and we've had injuries. So, like, Roth played, Lamptey played instead of Dunk, no McAllister, no uh, Mateus on the right, and if we both had the same amount of chances. For all three of their goals, if you want to make sure that I'm not kidding you when I say this, you can go watch the live stream on Dame underscore 23. We had chances for all three. We actually had two before Harlan scored. Two headers, one from Tossum from a corner and Perum from a header from open play that they missed. Um, and then uh, we had a couple of one-on-ones and Donov had a chance in the 85th, the Kel one back stick in, which he put over the bar. So, look, we've been okay. What we're going to do is give you the AGF game. In terms of the conference league, we currently sit second on goal difference. One goal behind Stuttgart. The top eight teams do go through. Main reason we're giving you AGF is they're one of the teams on seven points and having a pretty good time of it. So that's one reason why. Other reason is, feel like, you know, we've been in this... Uh, we've been in the, the league and training league games. Have to give you one of these conference games. And then in terms of what we're going to do for the rest of the episode, it's either we're going to give you West Ham as a YouTube episode and Everton, or one of them, um, and then we'll see where it goes. Or who knows, this game could be bonkers enough that it warrants its own episode. Let's go find out. In terms of the team, though, I am rotating. I know this is a big game, but on paper, we do have West Ham, who historically have done us over in this save. So I am rotating. Scully is coming back from injury. Uh, we do have McAllister on the bench. Alcido playing with that broken um, wrist. Um, injury on the bench, hopefully not going to feature. Mateus back from injury too, going to try and get 45 minutes in him to get him match fit. Um, but do expect me to rotate in this game as well if it is going our way. Let's go into it, see what we can do. Um, we have, of course, like, allowed five changes from these 12 subs. AGF have been having a pretty good time of it in, over in Denmark as well. Team that we battled with in our main save uh, in FM20 when we were with SFB and amateur side that we won the Champions League with. Um, took us 20 seasons to do that. Hopefully, not 20 seasons here with Brighton. Do love the screen. I will admit that too. I love I love how it all looks. Can't wait to see what the Europa and Champions League ones look over time as well. But AGF lining up in a very narrow uh, five-at-the-back system. Look, probably helps them be defensively more solid. So that's perfectly fine there too for them. Uh, the boys are walking out. Here we go. Hopefully, we do well. We are in the blue. They are in the, you know... They're very, very, very dark, 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 dark. You know what? I'm just going to say black. I thought it was really dark navy blue. Probably is, to be fair. It's not as, you know, it's not as the same colour as the back of the UEFA Europa Conference League banner. But, yeah. Anyhow, let's see what happens. Good start. We've had a highlight. Salasu now with the ball. Yeah, Sitalo playing, not tossing, resting tossing. Um, as well, Correa over the top. Joe Gerhardt's been in great form here in the uh, in the Conference League, and he continues from scoring a hat trick last time out in our three-one win against the team we beat, and there was two red cards in it. Anyhow, he scored again. 
toe pokes it over the keeper. Great finish, 1-0. It would have been nice if we had a little bit of that against Manchester City. What are the boys here in the stream? Stuttgart already 2-0 up. We are battling them for top spot. It does not matter as long as you finish inside the 7. Um, and that's all that matters. Dornaf has looked really good. Joe Gelhart in again. Is he going to score again? No, he's not. It's a great save from their keeper. Made himself massive. Feel like when strikers get two on top of the keeper, you're never going to score. Fred to whip. And he does whip. Cleared away. Only as far as Joe, though. Who beats one. Went for goal. And I think he hit his own player there. And it did, indeed. It is going to be a goal kick. Good start, though. Very promising start. And Fred again to whip one front stick. Satale heads. That's 2-0. That's beautiful. So we're 2-0 up here, which is great. If we get to 3-0 pretty quick, what I might do is come back at the end of the game, YouTube, say it was a pumping, um, and then show you what the goals were like uh, before we play the West Ham game as well. But 2-0 up. We'll leave it for live for now. Um, who knows? They might score. And uh, Joe, you going to get on that? Oh, I thought he was. Anyway. Feel her, man. Good ball win back stick. Headed. That's not going to trouble the keeper, though, from Itten. And so far, 2-0. You will notice the moustache with the saved uh, sides as well. It is Movember. Very good cause. Do support men's mental health. As I can, you know, I do have issues with that. So, there we are. But I'm a big supporter. That's for sure. As Joe's on the ball for 3-0. Easy as you like. What we're going to do there, YouTube, it's 3-0 inside a half. Is I'm going to... Cut this part of the episode here, and we'll come back at the end of the game with the scoreline and some of the goals for you uh, in order to save some duration time on this video um, because we are planning to give you West Ham and Everton, and they could be two bonker games. Good little finish, that too. Welcome back, YouTube. West Ham, big game in the league. We have got them at home at the American Express Community Stadium. Um, we obviously did beat AGF, but... Uh, <laughs> As always, whenever you end an episode and a part of an episode in a game, they scored pretty much straight away. We then scored twice. Uh, Mateus scoring right on half time to restore a 4 1 lead. Um, and then we scored again. By the way, two mistakes from Salasu cost us this as well. Um, two balls over the top, which he missed the header for. And uh, Mateus there at the back stick, left foot, near stick. Thank you very much. It's a great strike. But more importantly, Ryan Toland at 16 years of age. Scores his first goal for the club. He's already been capped three times. Sorry, 17 now. He's just had his birthday. Uh, three times by New Zealand. And, uh, yeah, it scored beautifully. They did score straight away from kickoff. Went long and Salasu yet again making a mistake. Um, but, yeah, look, great ball here from Sivet when it gets to him here. Dunk picks it up off the bench. Sivet over the top. On the half volley. Into the back of the net. Love to see it. In terms of what we're doing here, we got West Ham. Main reason we're playing them is they did have a very good year last year. You know, if you somehow did not watch the end of last season, you would have not seen West Ham beat us and finish uh, third. And with all the statistical data that you need to finish third, outperforming everything. This year they have not done that. They've been a little bit more back to how they should be. They just drew to Celtic 0-0. They've lost to Dortmund 3-1. Beat Ajax 2-1. That was a big scout for them. And beat Wolfsburg 2-0, which currently leaves West Ham... 18th, right in the middle of this whole list here, of the 36 teams there in the Champions League um, as well. So, yeah, interesting to note. Now, Everton are currently losing to Forest at the minute. You can see the injuries here. We This is game number two of four that we're having in a nine-day period. I'm tempted to play McAllister, Salcedo, and Mateus because they're all very important games. And we're going to go and have a look. So, Scully past fit, he's going to start. Three days away, McAllister past fit. Salcedo is returning from full fitness from his wrist thing, so that's fine. Mateus, two days away. Fitness test not required. He played 45 minutes and scored, so he's going to start. Leaves Correa, Ferguson, and Alvarez to the bench, which I think is fine. Fred's got that same wrist issue as, um, as Salcedo. Sivet's been in great form too. Um, and Roth, you know, Lucas has been playing that way. He probably deserves to be playing first team football week in, week out. But our midfield three is just too good. Anyhow, let's get into this. And then we got Everton away, and then we've got uh, Fulham at the end of it too, but you won't see that. We are in the 4 3 3. This 4 3 has been scoring and being defensively solid. It's been doing everything. West Ham, however, pumped us last year in a big game right at the end of the season. Like, slaughtered us 4 1, I think it was. 
Let's hope that doesn't happen today. They've got Pasqueta still, Ian Nacho, Delafeu, Ward Prowse, Harry Winks in the base. Matty Target still there with Tilio Kerr scored a header against us. Zuma, Ariola in net. We've had the better of the game. Considering they finished in a Champions League spot, and considering we're on a run of four games in nine days, I think if this finished a draw and we drew to Everton and then beat Fulham, I'd probably take that, playing three Premier League games um, in very quick succession. But uh, this fourth region playing really well, so hopefully we do the job. Mikalista finds Turam, finds Mateus. Overlapping run there of Scully was brilliant. Um, we'll say when you get the full dynamics, you see a lot better move, movement as well as we now got the dynamics because we played the same system a lot. Mikalista 1-0. Beautiful. That's the football. That's why the 4 for 3 has been goaded and why the 4 for 3 has been sitting in and doing well and the movement's been great. Because we've played it solid without switching for the last couple of months, the dynamics is like three quarters, if not full. And so you're getting even more better movement, which seems to be a big factor this year. Mateus with one injury funds, but Callis with another injury, who is now club captain as well. He slots. 1-0. Hopefully we continue in that same vein of form. But uh, Ward Prowse finds Roberto Rennan. He finds Ward Prowse, who we need to get off the, off the ball because he's fantastic. Good ball movement. Look the press. Pasqueta's got options. Ian Nacho's one of them. Outs are going to save me. No, he won't. Mercifully, though, Ian Nacho went with a chip that went over the bar. So there we go. It stays as we is. We're back inside a European spot, which is great. Hopefully it does stay as we are. Right on half-time highlight. Whose highlights are going to be as Tilio now picks up the ball, goes back to Roberto Renan, Ward Prowse. Good squeeze there from Turum, but didn't win it. That ball to Delafeu, though, is fantastic, and they're in here. Delafeu can cut. In Nacho hit, was blocked. What a tackle from, or block from Sotalo to get in front of his man. Will be a corner right on half time. These generally do not end well. Will be said, especially when Ward Prowse is on him. Great ball in. Zuma's there. Alta, what a save. He's been fantastic, the Turkish international. And what a save it was again from Alta. Highlight not over, headed back to Alta. We're going to have to watch that back. Surely going to have to watch that back. Great, great, great corner for Maud Prowse. And just feast your eyes on Alta flying to his left. No right whatsoever to make this save. Yet again, great ball. Zuma, great header of the ball. Alta, though. Did what he had to do. That's a great save. Keepers don't get enough love on FM. So there you go. A little bit of love there. Now, if it wasn't for the Turkish international, it would be one or at half time. It's poor marking. Could still be a highlight here. I doubt it highly. As Joe picks it up. Drives. Keep going, Joe. We have to thank our keeper. Altar down one end. Pulls off an outstanding, stupendous save. And then on the break we go, it could easily be 1-1 at halftime. Instead, it's 2-0. And Joe Gerdhart, who's been scoring for fun, has picked the ball up and has beaten five players that he's got around him and has gone for everybody and then slots up past the hapless Areola. It's 2-0. It's halftime. Yes, Tim, you've come in at a good moment. Give it a like just for the save, boys. Give it a like just for the save. Lee 2-0. Ward Prowse from another corner. Always dangerous. This time headed wide, which is fine. Now, we do have a couple of boys out injured. Now, McAllister's one. Not going to push our luck. And Sivet's going to come in there for Salcedo. Done. Not going to push our luck here. They've played the 50. We've got a 2 new lead. Get the two more injured boys off. And then I think this is the game where we get Mateus and Scully off pretty quickly here as well. And I think we're going to do that now as well. So, Mateus for Alvarez and Lamptey in for Scully. We'll say complete win back on support's been really good for us. Apparently Stupian's one yellow card away. Eh, it's fine. Free kick incoming. I'm going to bring Correa in as well because we've got some big games coming. Um, and I will bring Ferguson in for Joe so he doesn't get suspended. Oh, apparently we've made all our changes. Yeah, leave Joe out there then. Ah, Alvarez. Knops one in there. Sotalo heads over. Knobs one in there? Knocks one in there. There we go. 75 minutes played, 2-0, looking good. The system's doing its thing. The 4-3-3 has been goaded this year. And we absolutely love it here, YouTube. And we are going to get home, hopefully, with a clean sheet. Alta deserves it. Highlight, though, in the 89th minute. Stupian. Finds Tossin. Why don't she take us to not get stuck in right now as well so we can maybe save a yellow card down in the last few. Alvarez, though, with fresh legs. What a run. Great ball from Sivert as well. 
Alvarez holds it up, gets in the box, might go himself. He did. Probably should have cut it, but he went himself. He's a man in form. And look, at the end of the day, 2-0 against a team that pumped us in the run-in last year. And we've just shown them the door. They're in the Champions League, but this year they're not performing 15 goals above their XG. They're not performing 17 goals below their conceded XG. And uh, that's a tick, boy. So we've beaten AGF. We've beaten West Ham in the final game of the triple header. We play another team that pumped us in the run-in. Everton are in the Europa League. They're sit 11th. They just came back against Forest where they were 2-0 down to draw 2-2. We'll be back in a second. Don't go anywhere. Talk about YouTube. Everton. Number game number three, second game in the Premier League in this run, but you won't see the Fulham game. Um, as you can see here, I uh, have slightly rotated the side. Uh, Mateus not 100%, Salcedo not 100%, Michalis is not even 100%, but I think we might need to start him and then take him off for Salcedo um, as well. So slightly rotated. Um, important to note, Sotalo is probably a good enough. And you can note Saliusu's Sal form where you see my mouse, 6.54. He wants to... He has a promise that he's wanting to play a bit more as a regular starter. Every time I'm playing, he just looks like he gets caught on the ball. He misses a header or something. So I don't particularly want to play him. But at the moment, kind of have to. Yeah, it's not nice. But look, we'll start him. We'll get him off. I'll start him again, get him off, and then give him a full game. It's a bit of say, and hopefully he's happy. In terms of the team, though, um, not too much change. You know, Joe Gerhardt maybe could be rested for this one, but we're not going to either. Um, Everton's still a very good side, and that leads me on to talking about them there quickly. They currently are not having the best of year, not having a very good month. The only last game they won was in against Maccabi Tel Aviv. They lost to Villarreal, beat Slovian 3-2 in a, in a game, and drew to Anderlecht. So Apache runner results have them 8 from 10 points. 3-1-1. They could get through straight into the knockout stage of the uh, Europa League. So good on Everton. Our team's ready to go. Last part of this episode here of the triple header. And away we go. Hopefully we do very, very well. Okay, that's a very good team. Talk. going to leave it as it is. Strong belief. Um, look, Tarum is suspended as well. Is one of the reasons why we can't play Tarum. Picked up too many yellow cards. Everton in the blue. They did pump us 4-1, I think, in the run-in last year. We are in the orange or... You know, that variant colour that we have there. It's like an orangey, pinky colour. It's got a tinge of orange to it, I feel. And a tinge of, you know, it's just orange. Anyway, Garner. Going to leave it on this camera angle and then switch it after this header. Tossing wins. Tart Farvin looks to get down the line. And he does well. Hits, but across the keeper. Should have cut it to the back stick where they had one waiting. Mercifully, he didn't. Down the other end, McAllister from a set piece. Headed. Kept in play, and Joe Gerhardt was sniffing, didn't get on it. Lucas, getting a start again. Looks for Alvarez, good touch. Ball in. Joe, just over the bar. Man in form, nearly expecting to find the target. One big chance each. So they've got Calvert-Lewin, Rebic, Awobi, Farvin, Dusha Gay with Ghana, Mikalenko, Brandweig, Mina, Godfrey. Godfrey playing right back. That's good for us. Pickford. McAllister. Pickford in a very high spot. Good variation finds Andreas, who can turn. McAllister wants it. Finds Andreas. He knows how to hit him. Gets in there. Hits it straight at Pickford. Feel like if that's half a yard left or right of him with the bodies there, it's going to be hard for him to stop. He goes long looking for DCL. Salasu wins ahead of this time. Donna finds McAllister. Needs runners. Andreas picks that one up in space. He looks for Joe Gerhardt. Great touch. Great finish. Great goal. That's superb. Had Pickford in a very positive area for a goalkeeping sense, but you're off your line, ready to sweep. And had Brandway right on him, right up his backside. And it's like Suarez-esque against Norwich, where he brings it down two really quick touches and then goal. Great ball, but this is a delightful one touch. Second touch before Pickford can get at him close enough to close that space. Joe Gerhardt is playing like a man possessed at the minute. And that is 1-0. He is proving that the price tag we paid last year for the pressing forward was... Correct and superb. Alvarez picks up a bruised shin. Can't really afford to take you off early, mate. So you're just going to have to toughen up. Away from home, we lead 1-0 against another one of the teams that did us over last year. First, the camera angle. McAllister will come off in a second. It's going to probably come off now here. 54 minutes played. McAllister will come off. I am going to chuck Salcedo out there.
And I'm going to bring Lampy on for Scully because Scully's coming back from injury too and Lampy needs to play minutes to be happy. He's been playing this role really well. Time ticks away. Couple bookings out there. Tossin being one. I'm going to bring Duncan. Salasu will come out. Mateus for Alvarez as well. And I think I'm going to have to rest uh, Joe Gerhardt and get Ferguson out top. There's, ga there's a game against Fulham I have to think about. We are one new up. That team is still good enough to do the business. Uh, I was going to take us get off, get off, get stuck in, but I might leave it with us protecting a one new lead. Tossing doesn't win that. Mikalenko could go on the break. Lamptey, oh my, Pickford, what a save. Lamptey from 30, like, five yards out, nearly found the bottom bin. It was a great strike. Pickford at full stretch, what a save. Andreas now front stick. Dunk, oh, it's hit the bar. Or the post, or both. And Anana keeps that in. And Tuarvin could go on the other end on the break. Oh, Ferguson, Mina's done well. He's got lucky, and then in the end, that should be the highlight, and is. Should have been another one. Andreas now. Whips it back stick. Dunk off the bench. Heads back stick. Tossing heads. Ferguson heads. It's someone that's headed home. It's Ferguson scores. I think that's his first goal in the Premier League for us. All these goals have come in the Cup or in the Conference League. It's 2-0. Wasn't an assist. I thought Dunk won the header. Apparently, it's their striker that's headed it there. And Ferguson has rised highest. Pickford not alert to any of the danger. That's 2 0. Salcedo now with a ball. Ferguson. Andreas. Good touch. Beats five of them. Cross the keeper. Oh, just over the bar. Would have been unreal. Beats five of them. Probably a little bit optimistic. <laughs> Gonna do that and in possession and just start wasting a little bit of time as well. 2 0. Looking good. They've moved Calvert Lewin out as a Ram Deuter. Interesting. Don't think that's gonna do much for them. But you never know. Farvin. Headed, Alta makes a save. Looking for back-to-back -back clean sheets. I tell you, tell you what, mate, look at the space. Should have sent it. He did send it in the end to the right area. And Andreas picks it up. Beats one. Comes inside. Went for goal. Pickford with a good set of hands. Would have been an Alta assist, lads. That would have been great for fantasy Premier League owners. Hannibal wins one late for United. But we win 2-0. Another clean sheet. And against both teams. Oh, the hiccups are here. Hello, hiccups. Um, let me know your best tip for getting rid of hiccups. Comment below. Um, against both teams that we uh, had issues with last year, like my hiccups are now becoming, um, we have beaten both of them, which is great in this episode. A little bit of revenge. Might be the title of the episode, Revenge. And uh, proves that if we just did this last year, we would have probably finished in the top four. But instead, we're in the conference league. <laughs> We have the hiccups, and uh, Alvarez is out for one to three days, but we currently sit fifth on 27 points, 13 goal difference, 14 matches played. This has been our best start in the save yet. Next time we see each other YouTube, it will be for a bigger Premier League game more than lo likely, or if we get through the quarterfinal against Sheffield and make the Cabaret Cup semifinal, it may just be the Cabaret Cup semifinal home and away leg. Till then, I'll see you next time. Thank you and goodbye.